This is how we do it. All right, y'all. So this is not gonna be a long video. This video, um, I'm just gonna tell y'all the basics about my garden. A lot of y'all has been asking me a lot of questions about it, so I'm just gonna answer those questions. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So number one, the number one question that I get is, where did I get my buckets? Did Lowe's and Home Depot give them to me? No, I bought all of my buckets. Every one. Um, in my area, I can't go to Walmart and go to the bakeries and stuff and get free buckets. They won't give them to me. They say they don't have them. I think otherwise, but hey, it is what it is. Um, between Firehouse Sub, Home Depot, and Lowe's, I buy all of my buckets. Um, now, back in 2020, when a lot of people, everybody, well, everybody was getting stimulus checks, I told y'all back then, invest in things that are going to last a long time. This is what I did. I invested in soil because soil is reusable. You use it over and over. You may have to fill buckets, uh, but it's reusable. Um, buckets. These buckets don't break down. They last almost a long, well, I ain't going to say forever, but they last so, so long. I got my buckets 2020, okay? Um, but these particular ones that you see. Before then, I was growing in just, you know, like totes and stuff like that. So, that is where I got, I bought all of my buckets. I have even buckets um, over here on this side that's stocked up. So many buckets, and I have bought every single one of them, all right? Another thing that I always get um, asked is about the soil. Okay, I'm a miracle Grow girl, all right? So, I was starting off with miracle Grow, but miracle Grow went up, went up extremely. So, um, I went to Vigoro. From Vigoro, I just buy any type of saw. I buy the cheap saw um, that don't have any, as long as it's potting saw because I am growing in containers. So I'll buy the potting saw and then I'll just add my miracle Grow um, um, shaking feed in it because I use the, the shaking feed, which is the granulates, rather than using the powder, which is a water soluble. Um, and I'll just add that to it. Um, if it don't have pyrolite in it, I'll add some pyrolite and that's it. Um, that's what I do for my saw. All right. Another question I get is a lot of people ask me, do I put holes in my buckets? Yes. Every one of my buckets have holes in it. Um, a lot of holes in the bottom because you need good drainage. Okay. You need good drainage or else you will drown the plant and cause root rot. So you have to drain. It. Another thing that I get asked is about my tarp. A lot of people ask me, why do I have tarp? Um, I got the tarp because we used to have an issue in this backyard of having snakes back here. And the last thing I want to do is walk up on a snake when I'm in my garden. Also, it keeps down, it keeps weeds and stuff from growing crazy so I can see everything. So that is why I have tarps. If you put tarps down, make sure you put a couple holes in the tarp. When you go to water your plants, you do not want to have sitting water on the tarps. I put a couple holes throughout the tarps. You really can't see them, but a couple holes throughout the tarp. That way the water can drain when I water the plants. So that is how I do, um, do that to keep water from sitting. Um, let's see. Trying to think if there's another question. I already told you I'm a Miracle Grow person, so I do use fertilizer. My Miracle Grow fertilizer. Um, I have tried different ones, but I stick with my Miracle Grow because that is what I like. Okay, another thing. People ask me, can I grow? Well, do I have a problem with growing like melons and, and trees and stuff in buckets? No, I do not. Um, they grow just fine, just fine to me. Here is some melons some of you probably saw. Um, Y'all saw in my video yesterday that I do have melons. Um, oh, that's a bee. I do have melons and stuff growing. Also, to answer your question about the trees, this is my fig tree, and it is in a five-gallon bucket. I did not remove it, and it has gave me figs for three years, okay? Uh, right now, there is a lot of figs coming up on it. It does just fine. I leave it out here. I do not take it in during the winter months, and it comes back just fine. 
and it's in a five gallon bucket here is my peach tree which I got this tree what last year and it gave me some some peaches last year and we do have peaches on it now it was in a five gallon bucket but I had these containers right here and I like red so I put it in that so it is still providing me with fruit okay y'all can see up there we still got peaches peaches yes and it's a fairly new tree and it's still producing last but not least another question that I always get is why do I grow in containers and not in ground well first we rent our home we do not own our home so anytime the rental company may contact us and say hey the the, the landlord says that he's gonna sell his house or whatever then I can take my garden with me I don't have to worry about digging nothing up that is number one number two if something is in the um is getting too much sun or not enough sun I can always move it so it's, it's very easy to move your garden around and rearrange it in the way you want um, and those are the reasons so I hope this video answered y'all questions um, about my garden that is just the basic things about my garden so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload a video and I will see you in the next one if it's God's will okay y'all bye